all right so this is our node class node left child right child and uh, data variable so in the constructor left child equal null right child equal null data equal even set zero okay so in another constructor with a value we can say data equal data or you can say value okay Oops. all right so this is the first node I mean this is it can be any node let's say 5 so initially left and right is null okay so this is our BST class binary search tree public node in the constructor node is null is empty we can if root is null that means this is empty add we can add a value so value is a incoming parameter and I make another private method at method add the value with the root so if root is null then root equal new node with the value else if root data is greater than the value that means the root is greater than the our next value so it will be left child so root dot left child equal add dot root left child value that means let's say this one 5 next value is 2 so 5 is greater than 2 that means left child of 5 equal this one add root dot left child comma value that means this value will be added at root dot left child that means in this position okay otherwise if root data is less than value that means value is greater than root so the value should be right child let's say this one 18 is greater than 5 so it will be right child otherwise return root that means that value is equal to the root so we know in a binary search tree duplicate values is not allowed so in the search method we can search a value so I create another private method this is a root or you can say note initially found equal false while note not equal null or not found we can check if data is greater than x then not equal node dot left child if it is less than x then right child otherwise otherwise that means the value is equal to the node value so we can we can say found equal true and break and finally return if this condition is satisfied or this condition is satisfied then it will come here found equal source dot I mean source note comma x so it will call again itself so this is a recursive call now I can check it I can take a 
new class when I reach our tree all right so BST equal new BST BST dot add five BST dot add two BST dot add eighteen BST dot add minus four add three now I can check BST dot charge let's say eighteen is existed or not true let's say another value which is one you can see this is, this is false because let's say it in so push a breakpoint press f11 then press f5 f5 root is null so it will create a value then press f6 so root is 5 then return again press f5 f5 root is not null so now the value is less than the this value you can check by pressing f5 this is data is f5 i mean 5 for root value but our value next value is 2 so this condition is true that means it will call to the left child so root is now null then you can add which is 2 it will now the left so return root to now you can see root is now left side is 2 all right then f5 again f5 add in so value is greater than so it will be right child Okay, value is 18. Now you can see root left child is 2 and right child is 18. And similarly, all the values will be added minus 4, 3. Now you can charge press F5. F5 initially found is false so our x is 18 but node dot get data which is 5 this condition is false it will come here data is 5 x is 18 so it will call node equal node dot right child again right now node is 18 then it will call again you can see condition is false because this is 18 this is 18 this is also false that means we got the data break now found is true so it will return true now let's say I want to find a value which is 10 or yeah 1 so press f11 then press f6 all the values are added now press f5 it will come here and check x is 1 data is 5 which is true 
so we have to check in the left child that means we have to check one is existed or not so one is less than five so that means one must be in the left child of the root if this is exist so press f5 again call now notice two that means in this position then two and x one so again we have to check in the left child which is minus four you can see notice now minus four so minus four is greater than x i mean x is greater than node so it will check in the right child right child of minus four okay but notice now null you can see in the right child of minus four this is null so it will exit the loop and finally we know found equal false that means one is not existed there although yeah it is checked one is not existed so this is the binary charge tree how to add a value and how to charge a in the next tutorial i will show you how to use pre-order in order and post order traverse in the binary charge tree thank you very much for watching this tutorial if you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe this channel so see you soon in the next tutorial till then bye bye